Well, good morning. No, good evening. It's 6 p.m. It's definitely not morning at all. Um, but we are headed out to Mitchell, Oregon, which if you don't know where Mitchell, Oregon is, that's okay. Nobody does. It's a long way away, way out in the middle of nowhere um, to get a 2020 Toyota RAV4 that went completely dead and it's just sitting there. So we just ran here down to the shop and going to switch out those gas cans for diesel cans because I'm going to have about 160-ish miles of no fuel stations and this truck has a fuel tank about that big. So let's get that swapped out. Okay, gas cans off, diesel cans on so we can refuel ourselves. Let's hit the road. And I'm sure you're wondering the same question everybody else asked me. Why don't you put a bigger tank in it? Because I'm cheap. So here we're going through the town of Alfalfa where I live. And like I said, this is the whole town right there. There is nothing else. That's the town and the town of Mitchell that we're going to is about the same size, but like a hundred something miles off that way getting fuel so we just went through prineville which is about the last bit of civilization civilization we're going to see before we get out to the town of mitchell and uh not much out here just beautiful farm country we are heading out into the ochico mountains beautiful beautiful bit of national forest out here and we're heading actually all the way through them and out the other side and then we get to the town of Mitchell. So that'll be the next bit of civilization, civilization, geez, that we get to uh, on the other side of this little mountain range and national forest. So we are descending down out of the Ochico Mountains here. That's the back side of the Ochico National Forest side. And there's this beautiful valley here. A little farm out there, ranch houses. Nice green valley here, pond. There's this massive peak here that's really jagged and cool. And, and you head out into the East Oregon desert. Where we're going is to the base of those mountains, and then all the way to the right behind that one, and uh, off over that way quite a bit farther. So we're gonna head down this road here, wind our way out around this one to the base of those dark ones there and then head to the southeast dish over there but it is beautiful out here i should have stopped up there on top where you got views over the top of all this but maybe next time oh, let's get in the truck the terrain here is just so wild Awesome, awesome place. Like, look at this. Is that not awesome? And then we got a stoplight here because they took the bridge away. So we got to go around. So this is the town of Mitchell. I'll give you the grand tour all in one take so you don't miss anything. Uh, that's the post office. And this is the town. Um, Mitchell has a lot more than Alfalfa does. I don't know population wise if it's smaller or bigger. Um, Alfalfa is obviously a lot bigger spread out because it's in an open valley and Mitchell's in this little canyon. but. It's a gift shop. It's a narrow one lane road. There's the restaurant and motel. And then this is the feed store. It's pretty much the main building in town. It's auto parts, feed store, hardware store, and then another gift shop here. 
and that's basically the whole town. So we're going to head up on the hill behind town here and go find our customer. Okay, we got it loaded up and are working our way back out of here. Got a cool Chevy work truck there. Uh, we're gonna wind our way all the way down to the, the bottom of the hill in town before we put safety chains on because there's a bunch of little switchbacks and dips and curves and all that to go through. So I got extended way out so I don't hit anything. So we'll go back down here uh, put the safety chains on, back down at the highway. Back down to the feed store. Old nine shack up there. Stop sign that should probably be replaced. The one fuel stop in town. It is like taking a step back in time. Look at the grocery store. I think someone lives in the grocery store. Okay, we got the safety chains on with our patented round sling around the control arm, choke to the crossbar, then two chain. We won't put any marks on the car. And we just stopped uh, right in the middle of the road here and did that because there's no traffic here. Look at that sunset. All right, like uh, 100 miles back to town. Let's go. Okay, if you watch my, my Idaho video, you might remember me talking about open range and cows in the road. Here's one right here. Hey, what are you doing? You need to move out of the way. Can you go? There's people coming down the hill. Thank you. But for real, they have the right of way. So don't hit them. Hopefully there's no one coming. Now we're climbing up out of the desert and back into the wooded forest. This is the Ochico National Forest and it is amazing. I need to spend a lot more time exploring up in here. There's abandoned mines, there's old homesteads, there's caves, there's thousand miles of forest service road to explore and it is just awesome out here. So this is a place I need to spend a lot more time. So we're going to make that happen. Hey, we're just getting back into Prineville and here is one of my favorite buildings ever. It's the Crook County Courthouse. And it is just cool. I have no idea how old it is, but I like it. All right, after bunch more driving it is now about 10 15 at night and we have made it to the Toyota dealership in Bend 
So we can cruise in here and see if we can find a place to drop this thing off. Plenty of room right by the entrance, so that's where we're going. I actually changed my mind. Instead of dumping it up there up front, we came down here out back and gonna put it in this spot in the corner. Uh, my wife was nice enough to give me this tripod, so if you like this next shot you're about to see, say thank you to my wife. Okay, that right there is the whole car unloaded and everything put away other than the wheel lift here in one shot real time that's all it takes even with the dollies fully set up so there you have it that's uh that's it for this one we're just gonna take some pictures go drop the keys in the drop box and head home and we will see you guys next time.